My ex is pregnant. <laughs> Let's go home. About to order some Chick Fil A. You in? I am. Uh, I am okay. I'm okay. No. I'm okay. No Chick Fil A. I do love a nug. The nugs last night were so good. You know what? I have a bone to pick with America. Why do they call like why like? And real quick, America probably has a couple bones to pick with you when you're done picking a bone with America. I mean, it's probably true. Go ahead. I've just never. I, I just go ahead. And, go ahead, alien. <laughs> Go ahead, legal alien. <laughs> tell us what you have. It. Tell us. I I just why why are they called boneless chicken wings when it's literally just a chicken nugget or like a chicken strip? Because I think ever since that you know that um the documentary on the dude that like ate McDonald's for thirty days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, we like dove into what a chicken nugget is. Okay. I think that I the whole thought process behind that like let's it's a it's chicken boneless chicken wing when really they, they just pulverize chicken. oh so it's the marketing yeah it's the market um, well, why are things why are things why is anything called anything i mean yeah they were fired though why are you lord diy because i do diy it's good it's good i was gonna say yeah that's um <laughs> by the way okay uh, order your chick philly that's what i'm doing uh you know anything i'm okay oh i'm about to go in what's your chick-fil-a order uh i get a a two four racks of chicken strips and a milkshake. Two four racks of chicken so, strips. So I got a four piece uh -huh. times two uh -huh. Eight with a milkshake. With a milkshake. And some fries. Strips or nugs? Strips. Strips. I'm a big strip guy. You're yeah. a strip guy. Uh, even, see, even me, nuggets. Can't, I can't huh. do it. No, yeah. I'm a nug till I die. What's your What's your Chick-fil-A sauce of choice? Ranch. My, cho my, my choice of sauce for everything is ranch. Disgusting. I won't Disgusting. have any, I won't have ranch slander in my home. Um, Polynesian is the only option. Remember the time that you wanted me to order or like you made a big deal about like the sauce yeah. and like I went out of my way to get it and you're like, yes. this isn't the right size. I actually, I got it mixed up. It had been a while since I had ordered Chick-fil-A. You thought it was Chick-fil-A sauce. And it was Chick-fil-A sauce, sauce yeah. which was okay, but it's no Polynesian sauce. Yeah, sure. Anyway, um, <laughs> good morning, good evening. What an intro. Good afternoon. Good morning. What's up, Wild Till Niners? What's up, Tillies? We've had such a, a, a social couple of weeks. I'm exhausted. You get so excited by the idea of going. By the I way, know, like per, perfect example is last night we were at the arena and like Lauren was not, arguably wasn't even invited to come. And then just- Last minute got invited? Well, you're, you're always invited, but like- That's absolutely not true. All right, well, sometimes that is not, sometimes absolutely not true. not true. But the point is sometimes I feel like I'm just like- um, I was so tired. I'd been on my feet all day and I've been doing like a press thing for like four hours and just like- Draining. Socializing. And so I Draining. Was, and I was also in the sun. I got a little sunburn yesterday by accident. Really? I didn't realize, yeah. Anyway, came home, was dead, was absolutely dead. And then Jeremy had like a friend over who like were not, or that I'm not that close with, so I don't really know. So it's like the social energy that you have to put into someone that you're not super close with or like not familiar with mm -hmm. is just more. See, you say that, but also at the same time, if you don't know him at all, you could talk about anything. He wasn't giving me much. Okay. He wasn't giving me much. And if he watches this podcast, I hope he does and goes, <laughs> okay, rude. He wasn't giving me much. I was just so tired. But it was one of those moments where I was like, I wish that I could lay horizontally for just like 30 minutes in silence and watch some TikToks. You know what I mean? Like that was just like one of those moments where I needed to like recharge. But then I had the FOMO because it sounded fun. And then I'm so glad that I did go because then we had a great night and the nugs I, were fire. There's nothing that drives me more crazy than like when I do tell Lauren she can come and I invite her and then she just then slows me down the entire evening. I had a great time last night. I didn't slow you down. I was so independent. Getting there, literally I was like, Lauren, we have to go. Oh, getting there? Yeah. yeah. And then we got there We got there perfectly on time. We did, we did, we did. Um, I feel like there's slander happening that is undeserved. You um, are a, a well, um, oiled machine that is very efficient and I'm so glad you went. Anyway. <laughs> Good job, great uh, job, great execution. Yo, it is wedding season. Oh Actually, pause. my God. It's wedding and baby season. We, I'm not kidding. We have so many friends who one are getting married and yeah. two are also having babies. It's wild. I mean, I need- Every day there's a new pregnancy. I'm gonna be honest. There's gonna be, this is, I will receive judgment for this. Okay. I have muted. So many people on Instagram <laughs> who, and you know what? I totally understand if people think that I post too much moose and they want to meet me. I, I totally understand if that content's not Do for you. you. It's not for you. Do you. Am, I, I mean, am I offended if I were to know that? Would I not be your friend anymore? Maybe. 
Okay, that's. I feel like we're getting we're getting two different <laughs> mixed two, signals. Yeah, I've just muted so many people who just post baby stuff. I'm just I'm just not their audience. I'm just not their audience. Right, 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 totally. And you don't want to unfollow them. Because, I don't want to unfollow them because I don't want to like not be friends with them. I right. Just, don't care. But about- you wish that you could like like unfollow somebody, but like, it's not because I don't want to be your friend in real life, but like you virtually, no good. No good. Yeah. No good. There needs to be a-, a, a No good. There needs to be like a friend list, but you, you don't want to see their stuff. I think that's called the Instagram algorithm. Yeah, well, true. <laughs> oh my God, actually, as of today on Chronological's Instagram- Chronological's back, baby. Chronological is back. I also like that they're doing this favorites thing. Like I actually haven't decided like, so I, I thought that I was gonna go chronological. And, which, I know, and I'm sure everyone knows at home, what favorites thing? So, oh, cause I just watched uh, the head of, you know, that Adam Mosseri guy or whatever. He posts like all the updates on Instagram. Right. And uh, so he was saying that like you- The CEO can, of Instagram, right? Is it? I don't think CEO. I think he's like or, the head of, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So you can stay on uh, like not discover, but what's, what's like, Oh, I guess just like the algorithmic version curated. of yeah, curated yeah. content, but you can favorite like your close friends. So you always see their content mm. because like, sometimes I do like, like all the random bull terriers that Instagram is showing me, you know what same? I mean? So it's like, maybe I just like favorite, like my- Are we on the same Instagram? I know, we're, I know we're on different TikTok. Different TikTok for sure. You're on war TikTok. I'm on war TikTok. I'm on war TikTok. <laughs> You're on war TikTok and I'm on like- By the way- Baby I, duckling TikTok. I have recently, I think as of yesterday, found out that like 12 of the most influential war TikToks that I've seen that I just like, I keep in the back of my head. Yeah. They were all fake, all of them. What do you mean? I l- literally- Did you get bamboozled? I have been misinformed. Bamboozled? Faketh newseth. Wait, what do you mean? So what happened? All of the war TikToks that I was like, oh, wow, that's crazy. Now I have an idea of what's going on there. Fake? Just fake. <gasps> oh, and like, it wasn't in all, someone was, it was like, you know, when like you're listening to somebody on a podcast and obviously like they're off three weeks ago talking and, yeah, yeah. and they say a, like a sentence in a row where all things just apply so incredibly deeply to you. You're like, you're almost like, stop screaming at me. Yeah. I'm not gonna, this dude was like, so that this one that was happening, that actually ended up being fake. And then this one, and I was like, and I knew all these, whatever. And I was just like- That was your highlight was reel. Like, okay. So yeah, I haven't decided. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm probably gonna go back to chronological order and okay. just like see how it is, feel it out. Okay. But again, maybe it'll just be like babies that I don't want to see. Also, like I'm down to see babies. I just don't want to see your baby 14 times a day. Right. And again, I understand if people don't want to see moose 14 times a day, they're not my they're not my target audience. See, I get it. They're not I my get, demo. I get so in my head. I just don't know what to post, so I just don't. <clears throat> you are exclusively a moose fan page. Yeah. You're just a moose fan page. I you know I used to have the energy and care. I really did. Uh-huh. And it was a long time ago. I actually don't feel like you even posted that frequently back then. You, well, when I was like on TV. Uh, curating your- uh, My your, life. Your online identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your brand. I was really, yeah, I was, I was really <laughs> driving it. But just like, I, I, you know, like when you, you do enough stuff, like in the real world with your friends and you just kind of uh, lose track of your phone, like you have to be in the mindset for it. I, so I saw something on TikTok. Um, and this applies to our relationship so much. What Is, TikTok, by the way? What? What TikTok? Not war TikTok. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, where it's like, here are the pictures that I take of my boyfriend. And it's like so many like amazing photos. And like, here are the photos that my boyfriend takes of me. And it's like a picture of like me wiping Moose's ass. And like, those are the photos that you have of me on your phone. I legitimately take all the best photos of you. And I will, no, no, no. I will not when, have to When I'm it. like, like when I need like an OOTD or something like that, or a photo of like me and Moose, that's like a little more like stage or mm-hmm. like, oh babe, take a photo of me. I'm talking about candids. Like the candids that I have of you are so, okay, well I do have some like derpy candids. Yeah. But like the candids that I take of you are incredible. Like I'm like, oh, he looks great in this moment is not looking. Like I capture that. And like, I feel like in the heterosexual relationships that I feel like most of my friends and I are in, the the candid photos, the candid photo game that you take of me is- Hilarious. Is weak. Hilarious. Weak. I would go out on a limb and uh-huh. bet good money that my reel for Not Lord DIY would outperform yours. Oh, for Not Lord DIY, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. But I'm saying like the candid photos of like, just but like the cute, the cute you, moments. But that's Not Lord DIY. I know, I know. See? It's me wiping this ass. That's exactly. the reality behind it. I know, I know. It See? really is. Okay. So did I win this one? This one's this is this is a ding for me. <sighs> Fine. It's one. A ding. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Back to baby season. Why are we the only people that are not married with children? Because we don't want children yet. There's two parts to that. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't think that you're ready to get married. 
Oh, I'm not ready to get married? Yeah, I think, I think you're ready to get married. I think that I'm more ready than you are. Really? Yeah, well, because okay. I feel like you are in like the, you're in such like a, uh, like a- This could be great for a title, keep going. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like you're so deep in like the hustle of right now that like you don't have, like you don't have time for you. No, I had, there is no time for Jeremy. Yeah, Je that's what Jeremy is, is is just trying to find time for what, what everybody, literally I was on a call earlier today and they were like, and at the end of the call, it was like, 14 people and at the end, I'm like, I'm not mm -hmm. kidding, the last five minutes were just like, what everybody wanted to schedule with me afterwards. And with, what's so funny, Kim, and it goes, well, everybody wants a piece of Jeremy, so I'm not gonna ask for that, but I do wanna catch up with you soon. And I go, great. <laughs> what's it like to be so popular? Um, You know, as I've the recently become hot girl at the party, uh -huh. um, it's nice that I had 30 years where no one did think I was the hot girl at the party. Okay. To really balance out my ego. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, my, oh, I thought that was DoorDash. No. Oh, where do you just ordered it like eight minutes ago? Even better, Nike's showing up. I got some new sneaks. <gasps> you got some new sneakies? I got some Coachella sneaks. Coachella sneakies? Coachy sneaks, <gasps> yeah. Ooh, yeah. I also ordered some Coachella sneakies. Really? Mine are coming from StockX though. Oh, fancy yeah, sneakies. Fancy. No, I wanted What's a specific- like to be rich? No, they're actually, so the best part about, especially women's sneakers is that like the hype around women's sneaker launches is almost non-existent for the most part, unless it's like collab with like Billie Eilish or like right. Ambush or something like that. And so, so many really cute sneakers just like go uh, like unnoticed when they get launched and they just end up on stock X. So like the pair of sneakers that I bought was like a hundred bucks, like very normal, like almost retail price. Stock X. Yeah. Stock X. Stock, uh oh, oh no. <laughs> no, it's, to me it's, it's stock X, but, but you're like stock X. Stock X. Stock X, stock X, <sighs> stock Who X. Who taught you how to speak? I just wanna know. You know what? No, when I hear my mom, my mom pron uh, pronunciates, enunciates things sometimes weird too. And when I was growing up, I'd be like, why do you say it like that mom? And now I'm, I am Gail. Yes. I am Gail. I'm living, oh, I'm living. I'm dating Gail for yeah, sure. 100%. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I know that. By the way, love that. That's great. E yeah, like I, I, I am a pretty even mix of my mom and my dad, but totally. I definitely lean towards my mom's side for sure. I don't know if that's not always true. We've talked about this. Yeah, it's pretty 50 50. All right, so I need like three things immediately in the comments. One, is everyone in, in your friend group also getting married and having children? Yes. And who's being the most extreme about it? I do want that story. Two, do you lean more to your mom or your dad and why? And, and realistically, for Lauren, I would love for people to know that if, if they've seen this interaction. We've done two two episodes yeah. with mom DIY. I really wish there was more dad DIY content out there so we could get a, a good mix. But yeah, you, 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 um, it depends on the situation. It's depends, very, yeah, it depends it's, on the situation. It's situational. It's situational. Yeah. Everyone said situational. Wow. I know, let's bring it back. Yeah, situational. That, that should be on merch. That's merch for sure. That is situational. Yeah, yeah, situational. That'll be that'll be the next round. Isn't there situation ships too? Yeah, situation ship. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. The millennial, uh, is millennials at this point or is Gen Z really driving the cart forward as far as new 100%. words? 100% Gen Z. Yeah, we're old. 100%. We? What's the youngest millennial? Do we know? Like how old is- Us. Uh, we're no. The, yeah, we're at the very the, end. You're young, well, you're what, almost 29, cause you're old. Um, uh, you're 93. Yeah. No, I think it goes to like 90. I think it's like 95. Are you gonna check? You, yeah. You'll double check, okay. Do a fact check for us. Yeah, cause I think we're at the very end because someone asked about the Gen Z and I, yeah, I think we're cusp. Not, not cusp. <laughs> cusp, 96. Okay, 96. Yeah, so okay, 81 so to 96. Three. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, we're on like the super, super like lean towards Gen Z. We're at the very end of it. <laughs> the Pew research. 81, no, that's. The like, Pew Research Center defines millennials as born from 1981 to 1996, choosing these dates for key political, economic, and social factors, including the September 11th terrorist attacks, the 2003 evasion of Iraq, Great Recession, and internet explosion. No wonder we have- Wow, what, no trauma. Word. And this is a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my, like that's how they right. define- yeah, what we, our but, generation. What is crazy, we did grow up, well, maybe it wasn't in Canada, but like all throughout my high school career was like the recession. Like I just grew up thinking like, oh, so America just lost all the money and there's no hope in sight. What's, why am I in school? I had, I had no idea about the recession. I, like, I was like so unaware of the recession, but I did think that I was gonna die on like Y2K. Obviously. Yeah, obviously, ob as ob one does. Obviously. Right, as I ate my gingerbread house. <laughs> that was like a thing that we did like with the group of friends that we were always like, their families and the friends. You made gingerbread houses? We made, no, 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 we made gingerbread houses earlier, usually like around Christmas. And then on New Year's Eve, we would eat them. Disgusting. And if you're wondering if they were rock hard and probably cracked our teeth every time, the answer is absolutely Just collecting yes. just holiday dust. Yes. No, 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 we had saran over them. So they weren't collecting holiday dust, but they oh. definitely were like not fresh. Got it. Yeah. Got it. No, I am, um, 
You know, it's actually quite ironic that I ended up with Lord DIY when I hated arts and crafts. Hated. Balance, baby. Hated. Couldn't stand it. Cryptocurrency might feel like a secret or exclusive club, but Coinbase believes that everyone everywhere should be able to get in the door. Whether you've been trading for years or just getting started, Coinbase can help. Coinbase offers a trusted and easy to use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. They offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. Coinbase is a great place to start your journey with crypto because they are absolutely here to help you understand even if it feels like a totally foreign language. Millions of people in over a hundred countries trust Coinbase with their digital assets. As you guys know, I've spent the last six months really diving in headfirst into crypto, which the LordDIY.eth page. And so I am super familiar and a user of Coinbase. They make it easy for any level of knowledge on crypto, whether you're looking to diversify, just getting started or searching for a better way to access crypto markets. Start today with Coinbase. For a limited time, new users can get $10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash WT9. Sign up at coinbase.com slash WT9 for $10 in free Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only, so be sure to sign up today. That's coinbase.com slash WT9. Being motivated to get back into a good workout routine can be really, really hard, especially when work is crazy. And anytime you have off, you just wanna be spending it on the couch. I totally get it. Peloton is here to help with the Peloton Bike and Peloton Bike Plus. Peloton is always changing up its style with new classes and instructors on rotation. They offer a ton of variety, which helps you keep from burning out by doing the same thing over and over. Peloton has a workout for every day and every schedule. De-stress from a long day with 30 minutes of strength and 20 minutes of cardio, or do a quick 15 minute total body workout class before work. Stay motivated while having fun with bike workouts, yoga, meditation, dance, cardio, and more. I'm still trying to convince Jeremy to do dance cardio with me. Yeah, that one's a good, that's a stretch. Dance cardio. Come that's on. a stretch. You got it. You got it, babe. You got it. I've been incorporating boxing back in my routine and not only is it a fun way to work out, but it also helps release a ton of negative energy. You just got to punch it out sometimes. And since Peloton offers quick class sessions, it's easy to incorporate into even the busiest of schedules. Even Jeremy has been able to find time to squeeze a quick sweat in and I'm, well, maybe, maybe a little dance cardio. If I can find time, you could find time. Sillies, we want you to accomplish those fitness goals. Visit OnePeloton.com to learn more. That's O-N-E-P-E-L-O-T-O-N.com. You, you know, like when you just have to do things when you're like in elementary school? Yeah. Because like, well, that's what we're doing. Like you have to literally get in a line and walk, you know, in front of the, but it's just, okay, now we're going to this class. This okay, class. this is how I felt when we had to dissect a frog. I was like, this is, this is the thing we're doing. And I was like, absolutely fuck not. I yeah. sat out. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. But you were able to sit out? What? You were able to sit out? I was able to sit in the corner and Politely take adjourned. notes for my, I like, I found someone who was like down and like excited right. to be my partner for it. And I was like, you go ahead, I'll be in the corner here and you let me oh, know. Oh, you didn't like ask the teacher to be excused. No, no, no. Cause that would have affected your grade, I think. Which is also very fucked up. I feel like that you couldn't just like be like, hey, I don't want to slice open this frog right here and look at its guts. So I was able to they find- They pre-sliced? No. Oh, I would need it to be pre-sliced. A hundred percent. Like even just piercing the skin. Like, yeah. oh, it makes me nauseous just if thinking I about that. If I can't crack open my own, um, uh, what are the little nuts with the shells? Pistachios? I'm yeah. not cracking open frogs. Oh yeah, there's no chance. There's absolutely no chance. So yeah. I sat in the corner and I was like, what color is the what color is the spleen? And then I would write it down or whatever the notes needed to be. Well, that's great to see. I actually would have been a great party with you because I don't like writing things down. You do. But you, you don't want to you don't want to write things down or slice the frog open. So I'm I not don't. entirely sure where the where the uh, the I value don't. add is here for you. It, are, and are we the weird ones for not being squeamish by that or by, by being squeamish on that? Like, uh, what, at what point in time? I would say my class was half and half. Like people were stoked about it, and I was like, okay, serial killer. Vibes. I legitimately, this is how you know people's parents are, are like pushing them in directions they should not go. I remember there was a buddy of mine in college who was pre-med mm. and was like gonna go be a doctor or whatever and got squeamish at needles and blood. So he's now a construction worker. Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, by the way, should be, cause there's so no- So did he end up doing that? What did he end up doing? I haven't checked in. Oh my God, but, we need a Facebook But I remember again. being like, yo, like walk me through how that's yeah, gonna right, work. Yeah, right, right, how that's like, gonna no, work like, I think like, if you're around it enough, you'll like get used to it, I go, ah! but like, Let's There's just some people, it's just like either it's like, it's just like in your DNA, whether you're down with that or not. Well, like once you're in college, you know, you don't have to do anything you don't want anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an adult. Right. You get right? to choose what like, you want to do. Just sort of like taxes yeah. and, you know, drinking water and sleeping. And like, like registering for like a health card. Even oh my then, God, wait, you don't even have a health card. You don't have, yeah. 
Oh my God, that's so weird. There's very few things that one has to do. Certainly not go to pre-med. Right, like if, go, go get a license, pay your taxes. Do whatever, yeah. Eat your greens. Well. Or if you're Jeremy, don't eat your greens. I'm not a greens guy. Not a greens kind of guy. Not a greens guy. Not a greens kind of guy. It's not that I don't respect them. <laughs> I understand their importance. Okay. I'm just gonna hopefully, well, here's the thing. My grandmother lived into her nineties, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And I don't think I ever saw this woman eat anything that wasn't out of a can. Right, can food. I'm not kidding. No, 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 but their generation is hardier than we are. We're weak. I don't agree with that. I think we're, did you see, did you hear the, the summary of how we got started? <laughs> no, I would say that we are one, aware of our emotional trauma. You know what I mean? Like I feel like the generation before us, like they don't do therapy, but we're, we're like, oh yeah, couples therapy, like regular therapy. Right. Like we're like, we're like more aware of okay. it. And, and that makes us soft. We're acknowledging our trauma. No, but I feel like it opens us up to be more emotional and aware, conscious and therefore sometimes more fragile because we're opening ourselves up to that. So you're telling me because we know more and are more in tune with what our body wants and needs, we're going to need to take care of it better. Otherwise we'll die sooner. Yes. That is some logic. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, no, yes. I'm not really sure about that at all. Um, what I am sure about is that- I Oh my God, you know what? Actually, the perfect example is this, is that all these people that are being recruited for war, like our generation right uh -huh. now is reading an article, not fake news, not bamboozle from Twitter or um, TikTok, is that like, because people love video games and are so like sedentary and like do not, like the, the population that's like doing activities and like going outside, like so many people who enlisted got injured in the first like couple of weeks because like their muscles are just so underdeveloped. Because yeah. we're fragile little baby back bitches. <laughs> We do, every time I hear baby back bitch, I, like Remy just- It's is, just Remy and I, we're baby back bitches. That, that's the, that's the yes. voice and the head that gets, just pops into my head. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I, listen, I, I think that there are a lot of folks that are, are pretty sensitive. Yeah, 100%. Even like physically, like I don't think that you would last that long. No offense. Like I, I don't think physically you would last that long. And this has been wild till nine. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think I'd be able to figure it out. You think? I, the, the, the actually, the large majority of my life, I've been athletic and in shape. We're just- Quick. So, so what, I'm just, I just wanna, just I, wanna. I wanna, and I, the, last, the last couple and I, of years. And so the, the majority of the time that we've well, been together is. Let me just check my Chick-fil-A order real quick. Um, <laughs> you know, oh gosh, it's been picked up on the way. Fantastic. It's so exciting. But I, I, I'll bring it back to the first time I um, unsheathed, uncloaked, uh -huh. took my shirt off. Yeah. And Lord yeah, I was like, Jeremy from STEM's got some abs. This is great. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that was the last time. Where did they go? Um, I'm comfortable and Chick happy. Chick-fil-A ate them. <laughs> My wallet's bigger than it was then. Chick-fil-A ate them. That's, that's, that's thicker. That's true, yeah, yeah. And so is my stomach. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You know, I just feel like like the, the, the pandemic locked people up so close to each other uh -huh. that like a lot of transitions are being made. Kids, weddings, my waistline, okay. all of it. Don't you think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually were, cause we were trying to figure out all these people that are like kind of like halfway through pregnancy now. And we're right. like, okay, we're counting back the months of like, okay, when were they banging? And it like, it kind of brought us back to like, that's, that's, end where, of that's where they fall. When were they banging? When were they banging? When yeah. were they, when were they baby making? Sure. And it kind of brought it, it's like, okay, fall. And it's like, that's when we were going into so many places, we're going into like another, 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 another right. round of like lockdown. Do people, I think, time when they want to have a baby, like what in the year? I know everyone's like, we're trying, but like, you ever think like, oh, I'd love to have a baby this month. Maybe. I mean, if people start trying at a certain time, maybe they're like, ideally I'd love to get pregnant right now. And we're starting to try now. And that would give me um, an Aries. When would we want to have a kid? What month? So my mom had me in August, obviously. And she said that she was absolutely miserable because when you're pregnant, I guess you, your like body temperature, I already have body temperature regulation issues right now. Right. And so like, I'm concerned for one, when I get pregnant and two, when I'm PMSing or not PMSing, when you go through a menopause at the end. Cause like, you know how middle-aged women are always like, hot flash. I live with a single mom, yes. Yeah, exactly. We're, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you experienced it with Donna firsthand as I mean, the only mention, victim in the household. Not to mention, I will remember when it was, you know, negative 47 outside yes. and like mom's like, oh, this is perfect uh, inside. And I'm like, what are you doing? Right, and your mom keeps the house cold to begin with. Freezing. Oh Donna my God. Hasn't, Donna hasn't touched the heat in seven years. We, Donna put a, put and Jeremy on, put a jacket. at Thanksgiving, were having a thermostat war. Oh, I was just, it was I'd severe. walk by and just. Just crank that shit up to 74. <laughs> this woman keeps the house at like 67. 60! 60? It is a 
freezer in there. Oh, she can't move to California. She could never move to California. Her electricity bill would be thousands every month. No, 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 no. that's the thing though. It's not about, she actually likes it that cold. Oh. She has a, just, there are things that Donna will spend money on. Oh, I see, And there's I see, things I see. she won't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heat. Gail, and, and, Gail. He, yeah. So, so heat intolerant will spend whatever it takes to be in air conditioning. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah, whatever but, it takes. She's but, like, she would never buy a car that doesn't have AC. But then when hop in public transit to get into the, the Uber X line at LAX. Yes, absolutely. That, I yes. see that. I know, I know. That to me? Yeah, everyone's different that way. Yeah. Everyone's different. What are the things, oh, I know what you spend money on. I spend money on convenience is my number one thing. But, my number, also convenience and making my mental health issues more comfortable. Yeah. So for example- Which like, is expensive. Which is very expensive. But like, I'm such an anxious traveler that like, and I mean, you guys have heard me talk about even just like the panic, uh, the panic like flow of thoughts that happens if I'm not on the aisle seat on an airplane. And so like, even just the comfort of flying business class and knowing that even if I did get stuck on the window seat, there's probably room to scooch around that person if they were fast asleep. Like even thinking about like dumb, like minuscule things like that. Lauren, be bold. Just be bold. I can't. Just be I, bold. I can't. I can't. Be bold. I can't. Lauren. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. It, <laughs> it's like I'm 28 and it's not happening anytime soon. And so like, I've just accepted that there are certain times mm -hmm. where I can find the boldness. I really can. I just think it's so fun. last night in particular, we were out with uh, two of the guys that actually sell ads for this podcast. Uh -huh. And Lauren's so funny. Cause like, it, it's not that like you don't start bold, but your introduction and who you are as a person, yeah. two very different things. Oh my God, yeah, 100%. Well, I just I just feel like, especially one, you team me up for a very awkward interaction because you team me up in like a weird way of like where I feel like my next word should be listing off all of my top accomplishments, but like, I'm never comfortable doing that. Like, I don't know how to be like, hi, I've been on YouTube for 10 years and I have two seasons of a show on HBO. You know what I mean? Like, I just like, you just don't. Did it. By the way, what do you mean? I'm not I tee you up in a sense of like, there's, there's so much here and you don't even have to talk about it. Cause like, listen, if you don't know who she is, go look her up later. It makes me bashful. I, look, you, know, <laughs> you know what? No one does it more and bigger than our boy, Craig. Craig is, Craig is a, oh, yeah. a ultimate hype man. Oh my God. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Well, but he's like, he's like funny ultimate. with it. Yeah, he's like funny with it. Oh, and I'm not. Okay, got it. No, yeah, no, no, I just, feel, I just feel bashful. Perfect. Yeah, no, no. How would you let me introduce you? All right, ready? I let's, let's, let's role play, okay, ready? Okay, okay. Okay, got it. Um, oh, uh, this is, and you're walking up? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. So you've got critiques, I don't know. but nothing but no answers. to add. I have no answers for you. That's I have wonderful. No idea. Yeah, yeah, wonderful I know that's productive. super helpful. Thank you. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is because like, I'm just never comfortable being like, hi, here's everything that I've ever accomplished. I don't. Ever, 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 like my intros are as short as possible. Okay, but also I feel like you are known for doing one thing really well, where it's I'm spread what kind of thin. What? What is that? Um, Being boyfriend Jeremy. No, no, what is it? Being boyfriend Jeremy. No, no, no. no, but like you have a title. You're like, oh, I'm the senior director of NFT acquisition at crypto.com. I would never say that. Right, but like, it's like you have that option to give yourself a title to be like, oh, I am I do NFT acquisition. Even if you said that, it's like even, it's not, it's like a little more humble than being like, I'm the senior director. Right, but also I, I have a background in music. Also, I have a background in actually performing. Right, but like oh. that stuff comes out so easily like in conversation afterwards, but at least you have like a very solid like starter line where it's like one, the word influencer, douchey as fuck, the word YouTuber, because it's been tainted by a few other, not as- Got um, it, you're an accountant, I get it. Um, <laughs> no, even that, people are gonna be like, oh, so OnlyFans, what's like your URL? That was, that was the- Yeah, exactly. It, and so anyways, you got, I you like, got, we got there. I, I don't know what to start with, cause I don't wanna be like, oh. Also like, you know, when you come across someone's Instagram profile and they're like, I'm a model, photographer, director, D, you know what I mean? Like, And there's usually seven cities in different countries. Yes, that, that, yes, that and they list off. Yeah. And so like, I don't wanna be that person to be like, oh, I split time I'm, between here, yeah. Jakarta and South Africa. Right, and you're like, what? okay, Hey, fucking douchebag. Yeah. Like, even if you do that, like you don't put that in your, I don't, I don't know. So I don't know how to like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to present myself in a way that I feel like it's, cause I would never be like, oh, I, I'm a TV host because like, I only do that once a year, fingers crossed for another year for season three. But like, I would never present myself like that. Cause like, that's not my like main thing. What is your main thing? I don't know. I would say YouTuber is like the main thing, right? Cause it's like podcast is on YouTube, vlog channel on YouTube. Um, I guess the crypto stuff's not on YouTube, but like main channel, vlog channel, podcast are all on YouTube. So that's like probably the bulk of the content, but saying YouTuber influencer feels unprofessional in like a weird way. Okay.
And so I'm lost. I have no idea. And you Got know what? It. I should figure it out because NFTLA is next week and I'm gonna be making a lot of introductions and I, I need to figure it out. No, I, I would should, make a lot of introductions. I should. And uh, you're gonna sit there and go, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and I go like literally like we'll get that with the entire right. conversation and like what's funny is like if it really does happen to both of us though sometimes I'll be having a conversation with somebody and yeah. like they'll get filled in on who you are what you do later or you'll be having a conversation they'll get filled in on who I am later yeah and I think it is a very um uh it's a funny dynamic it's, it's a funny, funny it's a funny dynamic yeah I guess I should workshop that though for next week you might want prepared. to yeah like hop yeah. It, like get the mirror out you know look straight just grab it right there in the face and just uh -huh. Grab some, gra gra grab some glass. Grab some glass. Yeah, grab I, some you glass. know I wanted to say it. Yeah, I, yeah. I can I, feel it. Grab some mirror. Grab really. some mirror. Grab, grab some, some eye contact from yourself, I guess. Yeah. It, are you someone who's afraid of eye contact? No, not at all. I've never okay. been afraid of eye contact. Okay. And I'm deeply uncomfortable when someone is uh, uncomfortable with eye contact. Sure. Because I'm so aware of it that when people are talking, looking like diagonal and down, yeah. I like I have trouble connecting with that person. I wish that, I wish that people um, would just realize that if you just looked up, actually, it's a completely different or, perspective. Or, and like, this is how I learned to do it, is that if you stare at the person right in between their eyebrows or right in between their eyes, you don't, you look like you're making complete, direct, 100% eye contact. <laughs> I just would love to see like the, the inner monologue of you and just staring between right. eye, like just eyebrows, just looking there and just yeah. like, don't or, look stupid, don't look like, stupid. When, when I'm like, when I'm like zoning out or like just completely disassociating from the conversation, but I like need to look like I'm still there. I literally just look at the spot between their eyeball, eyeballs or between their brows and I'm, my brain's just not there. But I know that if my eyes are there, it looks like I'm completely There's present. a lot going on in that head of yours. I told you it's very stressful up here. It's big brain, lots of folds. Big brain, lots of folds, very <laughs> stressful up here. Marble. Um, <laughs> Whatever. That's so mean. Also, I just want everyone to make sure that you caught that. And Jeremy's insinuating that my brain is smooth like a marble because like you, uh, a brain that's got like lots of full- Size as well. That was, that's part of oh, it. Oh, it's part of that too. Yeah. Just a small brain that's completely smooth with no folds because yeah. folds are where you store your brain juice. Our audiences are, are all geniuses. They know this. Yeah, I guess. You know, don't, don't, hey, don't mansplain to our audience, okay? Okay. I just want to make sure that everyone understood the severity of your Yo, insult. Speaking of mansplaining, holy- Shit, dudes, shut up. I have been on uh, probably a half dozen panels or speaking and blah, blah, blah the last like week I didn't know so. where this was going. And I'm not kidding. It does, without fail, every single time. Uh -huh. I don't care if there's two, three people, seven people, nine, there's one dude who's got a, a half a brain of information. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, but loves it to just hear themselves. Won't shut up. Up yeah. and I'm like, mm. dude, I'll just start. Literally, I almost fucked up. I was, um, just so everybody knows, uh, on Zoom, you can message people directly, even if there's like 100 people, you mm. can like message people directly. <gasps> Did you almost send it to the I group? almost sent, <gasps> I mean, it was two or 300 people. I'm not kidding. And I almost sent, like, I don't even know why the fuck they even asked us, uh, here if this dude's gonna talk the whole time to <gasps> the entire, the entire fucking, I didn't, but like, I'm not gonna, I was, that I, was have been... I typed the whole thing out, and I was about. I was, I was a pinky away. Yeah, a pinky away. Yeah, no, it would have been, it would have, by the way, would have been hilarious. Do I hit the enter button? I don't think I hit the enter button with my pinky. What else would you hit it with? I think I hit it with my third finger. What? Like when we're on, you're talking about like on the computer, right? Yeah, I'm like looking at it. I think I like, I think I would type and then hit it with my da 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 ba, da 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 ba. I don't think I would hit it with my pinky. Your hands are so much bigger than mine. I bet my pinky doesn't even reach. You're, you're middle fingering the, the, the enter button? Yeah, also my manager, who is so wildly successful, types with two fingers. He's got the chicken peckers. Scott? Scott, yeah, types with two fingers. His two Scott, index, what, what the fuck? Yeah. You know, maybe so, vegan? You would not believe how fast this man can type with two fingers. It is incredible. Well, that, I mean, that's also the thing I feel like, because we grew up with, you know, like- Mavis Beacon. AOL and some messenger. Yeah. And we're just, just typing away. Whatever. But like, if you didn't like, have someone to teach you, yeah. I'm sure you would just get really good at this. But my, even like my mom, like she took computer classes when she was in university and like she would be the generation way before us. And she types home row as well too. Home row. Home row. You're a nerd. Um, okay, Mavis Beacon student. You used Mavis Beacon. Yeah, hundred percent, but you just called me a nerd. I wouldn't call it a home row. What? I wouldn't have called it a home row. It is home row. No, by the way, I know. <laughs> Listen, as the son of a stenographer, you're not gonna tell me what yeah. is and isn't home row. Okay, okay nerd. Nerd. <laughs> um, my, my, did I tell you, um, or did I tell everyone? No, I didn't tell everyone. I recently had to um, uh, get a transcript for a file, which is what like court reporters do. Right. And I had to do this in my own professional career and I didn't know how to do it. So I called my mom for help. And she walked me through it. I'm sure she was so excited about I, that. I'm not, when I called her, I said, mom, I need some professional help. But she goes, 
let me sit down. <laughs> what is wrong? And I was like, how do I buy a transcript? And she's like, oh, well, I'll walk you through it. It was great. Did she, did you like the way that she walked you through it? It was, yeah. Like, That's great. There's like- you Cause know, some people like don't know how to like, like hit describe the, what they, yeah, they do. Yeah. Well also like, I, I'm not- I need you to pause right there. I have the margarita poops. I'll be right back everyone. My Chick-fil-A is here. <laughs> oh, I hope, oh. Didn't want anything from Chick-fil-A, huh? Oh, I hope I, when the rest of this podcast is just you having like just fry throat. I got the fucking fry throat. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everyone to know, this was a great hack food last night and is now the cause of the, the margarita poops. But I, um, so we were sitting in new seats. Um, oh, now who's gonna have fry throat? Two things. One, when I said, do you want anything from Chick-fil-A? Yeah. And you said, no. I want the girlfriend starter pack. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Could I actually have half a strip? Right now. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. So, but here's my, so we, we were sitting in new seats last night. Normally crypto.com, the arena has, oh, you did not just drop fucking rant on our carpet right now in the podcast room. <gasps> Are you if kidding me? If there was three me? fucking cameras, I would have totally gotten away with it too. <laughs> like the hugest blob just went flying. I don't know why you're handing me that ranch. I don't want that, you nasty. Um, so normally we sit, we normally sit in the same seats when we go to the crypto arena um, to watch whatever. Normally we sit in the same seats and like, you know, we've got our thing down to a routine now of like, you know, where you get a drink, what you get, da, da, da. the bartenders, the servers are all the same and stuff like that. And it, it's very, it's very nice. There's a little routine. Last night we sat in uh, different seats on like a different floor as well too. And I'm not kidding. I got, so it was like a 20 minute adventure for me to get a drink. I was also by myself. I was just wandering around. Uh, and what's lost. funny is somebody else went right after you, three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes. I also gave him directions. I was like two floors down, walk all the way this way. Didn't do any of that. Literally just went to the Hyde Lounge to like two doors down to the left of us and came back. That's where he got those drinks? Yes. Oh my God, I texted you. I was like, you know where the bar Wait, is on this that, floor and you that, didn't respond. That, I'm talking to people. I'm going in the I, literally, I have my phone on, do not even notify me 90% of the time. Ugh, I know it's so offensive. So anyway, so I, it took me 20 minutes to get down to the bar and I was like, oh, this is such a journey because um, there was like beer and White Claw um, at our seats and I was like, eh, not quite for me. So anyway, so the margaritas are surprisingly good for a sports venue. And it's not just a sports venue. It An is, entertainment it's, it's venue. It's the as number well one too. entertainment hub in the world. Okay, so let's just like back off it. In the world, it is literally the busiest. It is the busiest really? venue. Yes, over Madison Square Garden. Yes, huh? Clippers, Kings, uh, Lakers, yeah, Sparks, yeah, all the entertainment that goes yeah. into it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, so the margaritas are pretty good. And so I was like, there's a two drink minute or maximum that they can give one person. And so I was like, are you able to give me two regular margaritas, but in one giant glass? And I was like, not a double, two regular single shot margaritas, one big cup. And he was like, I can make you two and give you a big cup. And I was like, that's perfect. And when Lauren, like, <laughs> Lauren drinks- And so like, basically like I came back with like, basically like a, like a big gulp slushy cup. No, she came back with a frat <laughs> cup is what she did. I'm not kidding. She walked he in- He salted my rim though on the big one. That was just so nice. I gave him a fat tip. He salted your rim? He salted my rim. Oh, we'll have to go speak to this man. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I genuinely like when you walked back in because Lauren loves nothing more than to like order a, a like it will be somewhere. Okay, I, I would liken it to this: when you're at a nice steakhouse and you go, "Can I get some A1 with that?" You're like, "Here, really?" I Why? would never do that. Of course you wouldn't, but you know what you do do? We're at a sports venue. You go, "Can I get a glass of prosecco?" And I'm like, "Yo, I do do that." Does not understand the assignment. Like, I mean, what do you do? Like, learn nothing. I don't more. like beer, and I don't like white. I, I don't mind. And like club. every single time, the guy goes, "Like, there's champagne on the menu," and he goes, "Do we have champagne?" And like, they go to the back storeroom and like, "Hey, how old's this fucking bottle?" I don't know. I guess this is what we use, though. I drink it. Lord, every time she drinks about three sips, he goes, "It's okay." Or, or <laughs> mm, delicious, and I'm like, "You're gross." I'm, oh God, I got oh my, in my throat. I've got I, water. You got to figure it out. I know. I, you know, I think you have throat issues. I do have throat issues. So Lauren- So I saw this TikTok. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, talk, I gotta- No, yeah, yeah. I let, got, let me handle this part actually. <laughs> no, I, um, yeah, I'll continue. The, um, every time Lauren puts anything new uh, to her mouth, whether it's water, something salty, sweet, whatever, uh, it, it, it just looks like it pains her to it's swallow. It's a struggle, yeah, yeah. Like I, I've never met anyone that like genuinely has such a difficult time like 
keeping themselves alive with food. Yeah, I know, for real. So I saw the TikTok mm -hmm. and basically they were saying that like, it, it was like just, what did she say? She was like, realizing that it's not normal that you feel like you have a ball of food stuck in your throat every time you're chewing. And I was like, is that not normal? And I start spiraling. And so I'm going through the comments and everyone's like, uh, yeah, what the fuck, bitch? And, but like, it was like half that and maybe not half. It was like majority of that. And some people were like, oh my God, yeah. And I've literally grown up always screaming, gobble ball, when I feel like I've been eating too and fast. By grown up, you mean last week and every and, week before it? Right, right, yes. Um, gr grown up up until now, like it's not stopped. It's like, no, it certainly yeah, hasn't. no, no, it hasn't no, stopped. No, no, the, the, you, you find the things that in life that are supposed to be the easiest, I think some, very are very difficult for you. And so like, I didn't realize that when people eat food, it just like goes down. If anyone wonders <laughs> what Lauren's like in the bedroom. Um, no, I um <laughs> Like, I feel like I always get food stuck in my throat. You know what actually grosses me out more than anything in the entire, not in the entire world, but like one of like, yeah, probably I, my, reserve, I reserve the right to have something else actually gross me out more, but. But probably top five is when someone has a mouthful of food and then they put water in their mouth or a drink at the same time. And I can, it just like, oh my God. Does that bother you at all? That does not bother me. Really? I mean- A mouthful of food with water and swallowing it all at the same time. Yeah, like generally speaking, I think um, oh. anyone who's just like, just shoving a lot of things in their, their mouth in general is gross, but yeah. Really? Something about mixing food and a liquid in a mouth all the same time. What do they time? need to swallow? What do they have too much food in their mouth and they need a little bit of help? To, that just feels gross to okay. like, Throw some liquid in there. Oh, I don't know what. I it is can't about wait till we're seventy three, and I'll have a you know fistful of of Chick fil A fries put in my mouth, and I go throw some water in there, and you go, that's it. I got. I got to go. I'm that's out. it. That's can't it. I'm do sorry. This shit anymore. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah. I don't. I have to literally look away when someone does that. I don't know what it is about it. Does it give you the ick? It gives you the ick. <laughs> it gives you the ick. <laughs> I. You know, I really. I'm glad that we caught up um, today on this podcast because none of the things we wanted to talk about have been talked about. I was going to say we haven't talked about anything. My ex is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite know what I'm allowed to say here. So you were the one that that that, that, that um, alerted to me. This it was on my for you page on TikTok. Yeah. Um, if anyone's wondering, I'm not the father. <laughs> Just <laughs> could have been you, babe. Yeah. Well, listen, that would have been, could fun, have been, been a fun you. episode of Maury. But um, that's so funny. Do you have any exes that have kids? No, I've got one ex that's engaged. Okay. And that's it. All right. That's it. Um, I think, yeah, I think a lot of my friends or exes have kids, I'm pretty sure. One of your exes proposed to her boyfriend. Yes. My mom went on this big rant about how- Yo, she was on a, she she was was on a mission. trying to bring down the patriarchy. Oh my God. Yeah, single-handedly. Yeah, 100%. What was it about again? It was at like, I was like 10 a.m. I was like, oh my God, mom. It was like- This I've, is a lot. Yeah, this is a lot. This like is a lot. someone listened to a podcast recently. Yeah, something. Somebody. <laughs> I oh my God, tendy. you are not allowed to eat around this uh, podcast anymore. Can I have a sip of your milkshake? Yes. And Hannah, at some point in time, please have punched out so that we can, they can the spread <laughs> that I've provided. Milkshake's not gonna help. That's gonna make it worse. You don't think? Dairy is literally, it coats your throat. Singers can't even drink dairy before oh they're Oh my God, this is so good. I know. I never drink milkshakes, obviously because my stomach would, could never handle it. Would you it. like me to order you some Chick-fil-A? Because that no. order went out an hour ago. Mm -mm. <laughs> No that's, one was, that's the most, with already having the margarita poops, there's no way I can put, I can have more than one sip, one last sip. Okay, here you go. I hope that you're, you're I, I hope you're shooting all day. <laughs> I hope you're, I hope you have a terrible day. Stop drinking my milkshake. <laughs> there's something though about being bloated and pooping all day that is kind of satisfying. Okay, though. back to what I was saying. <laughs> Speaking of being bloated and pooping. <laughs> my ex is pregnant. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine having a baby on purpose? Literally, so I saw TikTok. Actually, this is this is like a more popular. It's it's even spread to Instagram. Yeah. Um, but people being like, "Oh my god, yeah!" Like I saw that girl, and she's like she's pregnant now. Like, wow, good luck with your teen pregnancy. Like that's still my mindset. You've brought that up so many still times. Still my mindset, where I'm like, "Whoa, You're, that's crazy." You have not been a teenager for ten years. So many years, many many years. Yeah. Literally ten. You're exactly it's very spot on. Literally ten years. Yeah. Oh. And in no, I, did, mind, I did the math. Yeah, good job, babe. Great mathing. The math do be mathing. There she is. <laughs> There's another one that doesn't die. <laughs> and um, you're a roller coaster of, of about like you think I'm like old and decrepit and say the same things and look yeah. at my box. You've got about 19 isms that just continue Definitely. to repeat themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone tweeted me the other day saying that they will never look at the word sagu ever the same again. And I I I tweeted back and I was like, I am 100% with you. Can we get some? Okay, two things. One. 
Can we get some merch ideas below? Let's throw things you'd like okay, to see. Okay, Sagu is so, like that's so niche though. Yes, fine. Then we do limited run. So we're gonna do like just a trucker hat that says Sagu on the front of it? Yeah, yeah. A little bit made, uh, stitched to order. Do you wanna go S-E-G-O-O or do we wanna spell it like I'm gonna have segue. to see a couple different creative ideas. I'm okay, not sure. Okay. And then on top of it. that, we should probably call Fanjo Chris and figure out when we're gonna do something next. Yeah, we probably should. We probably should. Yeah. Oh, let's we'll let us know if you want a summer merch. I like, I guess I don't know what to do for summer merch because I'm just like such a hoodie and sweatpants kind of bitch that like when summer rolls around, I'm like, uh, let's do short shorts. Thighs out, skies out. Skies out, thighs out. Skies out, with the, and then the thighs would come out. Sun's out, buns out. Ooh, that's fun. I'm so glad that like, <laughs> Can you remember remember back in the day when um girls used to get like just slut shamed for for wearing for wearing um fucking uh, Lululemon? That still happens. It's a joke. Like I was gonna say, like uh, as a female, that is still very much happening. It, but it was worse ten years ago. I was having this sure. conversation with someone. You couldn't wear it to work. Oh yeah, the yoga pants. Yeah, yeah. I think there was actually a point in time where we weren't allowed to wear yoga. No, were we always allowed to wear yoga pants too. I think there was controversy at one point that some high schools were not letting people wear yoga pants to, to well, I, I school. Had uniforms, so yeah, definitely not. Yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, like it's so crazy that like the shape of a leg with like a black legging over it is gonna just like make prepubescent I'm gonna boys say right, just I'm gonna go you, wild. I'm you right now, it's not dudes that's enforcing that rule. <laughs> that, that's that's the, the crotchety Rrr. old 65 year old uh, female principal who's like, not in my school. I didn't yeah. even think about oh, that. No, no, guys are going, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Love it. I remember when the yoga pant really appeared and came yeah. on the scene. Yeah. I, I legitimately, it was a very wise conversation I had with me and my other prepubescent 18 year old friends going, this is a gift boys. Yeah. This is a gift. You're welcome. Let's hope that this fad stays. And it has. And it has. Yeah. It really and has. They're trying to bring back mom jeans and all sorts of other things. Mom jeans are bad. Terrible, no, terrible. No, no, people are trying to bring um, low rise. And I want to be clear, there's a very there's a very distinct uh, style here. Cause it's not low rise jeans. So I know people like enjoy low rise jeans cause those are just like normal and you wear like a regular shirt with them. People are trying to bring back low rise jeans with crop tops. And I need to be very clear that that is, oh my God, me and I worked. Cause I was like, I was like, I had this like one little moment where I was like, should I get my belly button repairs? Like, I just like, don't like my belly button. And so I was thinking about it. Cause I was like, it probably wouldn't be that painful. It's, but oh, well it's scar tissue. So maybe, I don't know. Anyways, Mia also got her belly button pierced for like two seconds. I had mine in for about 10 years, uh -huh. but she got hers pierced and then had a crisis, took it out. Cause she said she didn't like it and then wanted it back in and then couldn't get the hole. So anyway, I was like, should we go get our belly button pierced? And um, then we both decided like, no, that's a terrible idea. Especially since like we both like to like work out because everything is high rise. And so like your belly button piercing would not heal like properly or it'd be very painful. Like wearing high-waisted jeans. Like I, right now I've just like got high-waisted like workout shorts on. Very painful process. And I was like, how the fuck did I get this to heal when I was 16? And I was like, oh my God, it's because freaking low rise jeans were popular. Like that's literally what it was is that I would never have a pair of denim rubbing against my belly button because those were not popular. Ah, fuck, God, that's just, that sounds miserable. Very painful. And so anyway, people are trying to bring back, you know what it is? It's like the stick thin model girls yeah. that, um, that, are, that feel comfortable wearing that. Right. But I feel like you should wear whatever kind of jeans make you happy. And I've concluded that I cannot get my belly button repierced because I like high waisted jeans. You know, and that's that. We all have a, 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 a reason for why we do things, and that is a reason. And that is the reason. The math. Do be mathing. Thank you. Um, uh, did you never really answer my question though? When should we? What month are we trying to try and have a baby? A baby. A baby. Oh, we're, if we were to have a baby, when yeah. would we want to have a well, baby? Moose was born in April. Moose was born in April. Yeah. Okay. I, I'd like to advocate for not within a month of Christmas. Oh, I fully agree. I feel like people who have Christmas Actually, birthdays get absolutely- it'd be cheaper for us. We should do that. That's no, great. No, no, because I feel like those kids always grow up sad that their birthdays and stuff get like smooshed in with Christmas gifts. Well, who do we meet the other day that has an April or a April Fool's birthday? Oh, my cousin, Matt. My entire family on one side of my family is born exclusively in April or December. And I am the only family member who's not in April, December. Okay. It's very odd. Well, I'd like to advocate for not Jan Even January has been great. It's been good to me. Okay. But January 22nd- no, January, I feel like is like kind of like a- like okay. I feel like you're deep enough in January, the end it, of the month. I'm that like, just deep enough. Just like the cusp of like- Yes, Aquarius people, and on. 
Aquarius and on, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are like, yeah. people are down to, you know, they've done their three weeks of like new year, new me. Right. And they're ready to like go out again. Right. And like do some kind of fun celebration. New year, new me, yeah, yeah. But it's probably. like, if you had like a January 2nd birthday, people, one, are still hung over from New yeah. Year's Eve and they're still bloated from Christmas and no one feels like doing anything but sitting on the couch. You know what the thing is though? Because if you had a January 2nd birthday, right? Uh -huh. Everyone, you would just do your birthday party kind of thing or like you'd celebrate like when you're out on the first or whatever. Mm. And then your entire life, you would be hung over on your birthday. Yeah. Thinking you're about how so sad right. Your, right, your life is. You're like, yes. <laughs> I feel like a June birthday would be fun. Cause like that's when people right. are starting to get hyped up around summer. Pause, 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 pause. Why June birthday is dumb? It's because when you're a kid, you're not with your friends in June. A lot of times it's summer. You don't uh, see them. I guess. Birthdays are only cool until you're like 12 and then like shut up about it, right? So like, we have to give the 12 year old like the best birthday. But with then his you friends. can only have weekend birthdays. I guess you only have weekend no, birthdays but like anyway. You could, you could do it, have it during the week and then it'd be, it could be on the weekend. But like, I legitimately think- I think a birthday within, between the months of April to, oh, I'm going back and forth between August and September are like the end of fun. And maybe because I grew up in a cold climate where right. like like the, the cold starts like really punching you in the face by right. like end of September. Okay. And like October for sure. October, November, December out for sure. hundred percent. Cause like sometimes they're like already cold and miserable. But then like, if we're in LA, August is hot as shit. So like, maybe you don't want to be an August birthday. Well, so you guys do this thing in Canada where it's it's you, January and oh on. Oh my God, wait, yeah, let's talk about this. This is so crazy. That, that was my segue right there. Uh, so in where I went to school, and maybe this isn't uh, all of America, okay. but it's where I went to school. Please let us know. Like we go back and forth on this. The, all day, every day. The cut, and a lot of it's around sports. I just sports. want you to know that I still have tendies stuck in my throat. I we, By the way, we can all <laughs> hear it. <coughs> God. <coughs> but in America, like, <coughs> You, you you choose, well, you don't choose. I mean, there's some of a level of choice, right? But like the idea is that, you know, Jan, July, August, right? Mm -hmm. You know, when school's about to start. Yeah. Your age then, however you're told, oh, how old you are then, right? Dictates. Dictates what class and grade, grade you're in. So like the people that are born in May and June, actually, a lot of times are the youngest. Right. And the people that are born like right in August, right? Are the oldest of that class. That is so fucking weird. Why is that weird? Because we just like, it's like, if you're born in 1993, you were in this grade. If you were born in 1992, you were in this grade. So Canada goes off January and on. Yeah. Which like, I do see that as well. I do. I mean, like I either way, you're going to have people who are the oldest and the youngest of the class. I just don't want our kid to be the youngest. Okay, so no December birthdays. That's what I said. Nothing no, between no, September not and December. Not Dece we're not going to Canada. Oh, so fuck. no. My brain. So you yeah, yeah, yeah. would have been the oldest. In August, August 11th, you would have been the oldest. You would have had the, you would have had the huh? light. But school starts in September. No, school starts in August. School starts in August in the States? August. Why would they do that to you? That's still summer break. Oh, well, I went to private school too though. I feel like we went longer. Oh my God. August, yeah. And not to mention like two and this days. this is why before, I have two a days marble. Football, two weeks before that. Like a lot of times it were like the end of July, you're already like starting to go and like- Ew, why yeah. did they ruin your summer like that? Listen, let's take that up with Luther Academy at Alpine and Rockford Lutheran <gasps> oh Academy. Oh my God. And Rockford Lutheran High School, but yes. I feel like we ended school like the first week of June, had most of June off, July off, August off, and then you go back like first week of September. I mean, we go towards the end wow. of August, but like, I think probably like August 20th, right? You're back. So if I was born August 11th, I would be, be the in. old, I'd be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of times, I think it's like July, right? It was really the cutoff. Yeah. But then like there's the discrepancy, like the parents can choose, right? If they want to like hold them back. But I think okay. it's like July was like the idea of like, okay, anyone that's like on the other side and like would be turning then closest to when school starts. Oh, that's yeah. so confusing. Yeah, I, I see both ways, I do. Huh. But I, I think it would be great if our kid was born in, like September birthday would be great. No, because then school is starting right then and there. And like, if a kid's starting a new school or a new I, grade, like you haven't made your friends yet. What about October? No I, no, I literally said no September to December. But spring, then they'd be the youngest. Doesn't mean they can't be the smartest. <sighs> no, I wouldn't want to be, you know how much of a bit, I grew like- June feels really good to me. No. Something's pulling me to June. Didn't you just say you didn't want to like have a kid when it's really hot out? Yeah, but June's not crazy. July and August are a no. For for hundred percent. Also, I don't want to share my birthday. <sighs> All right, fine. June, July, fine. What about May, June? Let's do July. July, yeah, but that's a cancer. <laughs> what? What? Nothing against the cancers, but what I just... fucking sign would you like our <laughs> child, our unborn child, uh -huh, to be? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can I get a top three? Um. Okay. So I. I, mean, I already. Read, I already know. Right now, we're gonna have a Taurus. If we have another Taurus in this family, we can't, we literally cannot handle one more Taurus. My mom is a Taurus. 
My papa was a Taurus. My my mom's dad was actually born on the same day as Bubby's. Bubby's is the mo- he's a bull terrier who is a bull horoscope sign. Like you literally can't get more stubborn than that. I yeah. Like you cannot get more stubborn. I, than I that. guess, and I know so little about it, and I would love. Here's to Here's the thing: that is that like for horoscopes, I only know the signs of people that I really like of a sign, and the people that I really don't like. Uh, yeah. So like Sagittarius, I guess I've never had a friend or a boyfriend that's been a Sagittarius because like that's one of those ones that I know nothing about. I hope we have a Sagittarius. Maybe they're great. Maybe. Maybe they're great. Maybe their astrological sign has or, nothing to do with who they are. It's like maybe. Gemini. I only think of GEZs in his song being like crazy fucking Gemini because that's like the the two sided situation. Right. But I'm sure we we know some very nice Gemini's. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. D- you didn't answer the question, but what what was the question again? What you want? What sign you would like our, our child to be? I actually I feel good about Leos. You're a Leo. <laughs> You're Leo. And I love all Leos. I have something in my eyeball, but it's not a chicken tendy, which is good. Yo, a lot of problems. I know. Today. Everything's, everything's happening. Um, okay, got it. So we'll circle back when we're the ones that are pregnant. Um, right. Everyone will hear about it because we got to figure out what we're going to do with our lives. We posted a picture where we had to like get, get dressed up this weekend and everyone thought it was an engagement I was photo. holding your stomach. That's why. Yeah. It did yeah. look like a, it looks like an engagement or a pregnancy announcement. Could be both. Could it could have gone either way? Yeah. Could have gone either way. Yeah, but as we talked Imagine about- Imagine if we were pregnant the same weekend that your ex fiance announced a pregnancy, that would be fucking wild. We'd be like, yo, damn, why are you trying to copy? Yeah, listen, we. I was gonna say there's time, but there's no, there's no more time. No, no, so. there's, yeah, you can. Maybe right. maybe we'll catch them on the next baby. Right. <laughs> we get to the next <laughs> Oh my God, so weird. I know. Uh, I think realistically for mom DIY who's watching and begging for a grandchild, uh, um, Actually, I think I told you this. You've got to say it. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was like when I sent my mom the pregnancy announcement of Jeremy's ex, she was like, her mom is so lucky. Her mom is so lucky because she gets to be a grandma now. And I was like, damn mom, I was like, what the fuck? Like that's how much thing, you want to know what changes about your life? When you're in high school, if you come home and say, this person's pregnant. Yeah. It, that is your there's peer. There's concern. Like there's immediate yeah, concern. Immediate and now concern. it's like, I wish you would figure that out. Yeah. Like, what the, I ha- there's a, a five to 10 year arc here. Also <laughs> like, also like bringing down the patriarchy, my mom, she very much just believes in like, I, we should have a baby now and we can worry about marriage later. She doesn't think that it have to be in that like natural order of like that classic like tradition right. where she is very much in favor of just, just have a baby now for me. Right, which for by me. the way is, Probably the biggest compliment your mom could ever give us. Is that she wants an offspring of us? No, that she trusts us to, oh, don't worry about marriage. Just yeah, you're gonna be together anyway. Well, just, I think she knows too that like we financially are ready for that. But I like nice things. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanna buy myself St. Laurent boots. But every once in a while, I just go and just buy the things that I want. Um, On Instagram. So Kylie Jenner just announced like her new, or not announced, just had her child, had a boy. And announced a, a new name, right? Uh, canceled the old name, didn't announce a new name. Oh. Yeah, that hasn't, they were just like, our baby doesn't look like Wolf anymore, it's not Wolf. Oh. So anyways, so she posted a photo of um, just like what the nursery looks like and there's three designer stuffies. Stupid question. Is Wolf a boy? Yeah, Wolf's a boy. Got it. Wolf's a boy, yeah. And so it was a Wolf picture- Wolf is a girl, if, that's a name. Could go either way. Wolfie, that's so cute. Wolfie. Wolfie is so Wolfie, cute. Wolfie, yeah. yeah. Wolf. Well. Actually, maybe it is Wolfie. It was, it was W O L. If a girl walked into the room and just go, what's up guys? Name's Wolf. Be like, yo, she fucks. Or she'd be like, she's going to beat my ass. It was like, she got stories. She's got stories. By the way, you know what? I'm, I'm actually taking it back. I think I love Wolf. Wolf is great. I think I love Wolf. He's a badass name. I'm going to call Kylie right now. I think she should really re- reconsider this. Right. But oh, if it's for a boy. Is it for a boy though? Is it kind of douchey when it's a boy? Yes. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, then again, you're- but then also you're a child of a Jenner. So. Wolf Jenner? Yeah, Wolf Jenner. That's actually pretty sick. That's, That's a, a flex. sick name. It's a sick name. So anyways, she posted a photo well, Wolf of- Wolf Lewis, this is pretty good. Wolf Lewis? You just looked at my last name like it was um, trash too- in the street. You go, you, I, I, mean, I, could, <laughs> I could see in her eyes how she was visualizing it. You know, and like, it's like, it's as if like, we just looked at Rose. No, it kill. was. No, no, no. Lewis just feels like a very like classic name. Lewis and Clark, yeah. Like our, our our new friend's name is uh, uh what is it Rod Rod Needham Rod no no Rod Rod it's not Rod Rodri 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 Lewis I go, I go is it usually an H there he goes it's Welsh I go, got it right and he's like full name Rodri Rodri it's like oh, oh bleh, got, got, it, it. got it so it's like Wolf feels like too like um like hype beastie and like modern I guess for Lewis because Lewis just feels like classic. Right. The vibes don't be vibing. 
Right. The vibe don't be vibing, babe. Okay. I mean, we, I don't think we've really ever actually ever figured out a name that we like. Yeah, no, we still haven't landed yeah. on something. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, Kylie Jenner posted a photo of the nursery, and right. there's three plushies, like three different like little teddy bears or whatever. One of them was twenty thousand dollars, a Louis Vuitton teddy bear, twenty grand, twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I love plushies and I technically could afford that. It would not be a smart decision financially at all whatsoever. And like, I, I guess you just have to be like, like so dumb rich. You don't even know what to spend your money on to buy a $20,000 Or bear. the Renault family probably is really pleased and make sure that they have all oh, the Louis Vuitton available for them. Oh, you're so right. I bet that showed up in a gift. You're so right. Yeah. You're so right. Yeah, like what's a flex, what's a bigger flex than Louis Vuitton or like one of like the brand yeah. managers going, I'm going to send you a thing that is 20 grand mm. that, um, idiots will talk about in a podcast later and yeah. make it aspirational. Mm -hmm. And then somebody who probably shouldn't buy that thing mm -hmm. does buy that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, long story short, mm -hmm. we have enough fucking plushies in this house. I don't understand. Yeah, I know you don't. I know you don't. I don't understand. You know what though, for someone who talks a lot of shit about Squishmallows, you, I have many photos of you napping and all of our like very large manly friends who love Squishmallows, Craig, bought a Squishmallow. It lives at our house, but that is his Squishmallow, that yeah, axolotl. Yeah, you found a lot. Listen, I'm always generally surprised and 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 taken aback at your ability to find ways to sneak like like more mallows into this house. Like, oh, no, 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 it's for Craig. We're just gonna hold it here until he's back. I'm not kidding. I was at Target and I sent a picture to Craig because he loves Squishmallows. Right. And I was like, oh my God, I was like, they have an axolotl here. And I took a picture of it on the shelf. He was like, I'll Venmo you, get it. And I was like, Okay, I was like, I mean, say less. Yeah, but you know how you know, you know how I surround people. With, my friends, if there's uh -huh. if you want to like sum it up, like who's, like who's he really close to? They're like they're down. Yeah, Craig's down. They're down. But Craig's down, and now we all, have a new switch. All on the couch. of my friends would have just been. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, you should listen. Touche, great work on you. You got another smush, squish mellow in here. <laughs> smush smush, <mellow>. smush squallow <laughs> in here. You know, like old people just like, like just uh, can't pronounce things uh, and don't try anymore. Uh, like smush smush squallow. Like. <laughs> I, I can't wait till I get to that point in my life. I, I can just my start. mom called Twitter Twitter for the longest yeah, time. Yeah, I just that's what and I call it. Lululemon was just one lemon. Well, you know what? It's um like Dave Portnoy is a perfect example of that. I, the, the, like the way that he just pronounces some last names, I'm like, I know you do. It's oh my god, that. I was listening to their podcast this morning, and uh, Dirty Dom has been in the news for like some more fucked up oh, shit. Oh god. And so anyway, so Dave Portnoy is pronouncing Who's it. Who's not uh, even in, in a room anymore? I know. Well, he wasn't in a room. He was got like it. he was in a scandal. Yeah. Um, but he was Dirty Dom, <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> and I was like, that actually sounds like more Dirt like Dirtay. Yes. Dirt that sounds dumb. like a um, like a Dear John spinoff. Dirtay, yeah. dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And so Josh Richards and Brianna who are like young Gen Z's are like. Oh God. And they just, they just let him go. They just but let him say it. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. like, it's so funny. Eventually you get to the point with like old people, you're just like that, oh, that's how they are. They oh, just, yeah. Well, it's like him um, mixing up Charlie Jordan and James Charles in <laughs> like a, James Charles in a blonde wig, literally thought that James Charles was Charlie Jordan. Happened twice. I can't Two wait. Two different times it happened. So my brain starts to decay and just <laughs> that everything kind of. Oh just... my god! Josh and Brianna's reaction was so fucking funny. They're like, "We got him again. We got. I can't believe it. I can't believe he did it again." Oh my god. Yeah, that's what that's in two or three years. I mean, James Charles in like it, it's not quite drag, but like James Charles in a blonde wig and like a dress in full like full beat is stunning. Looks like Dua Lipa, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Dua Lipa. I I don't disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's all I got for today. <laughs> um, okay, well, so I still have chicken tendy in no, my you have, throat. No, 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 no. You have no more chicken tendy at all. All of this is mine. No, no, no. It's in my throat. Oh, God. That's what I'm saying. It's stuck in my throat. Great. Yeah. And and we do want to apologize for the audio in the second half when Lauren sounds like she's actively- I'm not even kidding. When I was chewing that chicken tendy, I was like leaning away from the in, from the microphone because no one wants like unsolicited ASMR of chewing. Um, no will, one signs up for that. Lastly, and I will end on this. I um was, I had- uh, uh, a fat edible, maybe I, I accidentally ate two, whatever. I was particularly high a couple weeks ago oh. and I was on TikTok and someone was doing um, a visual like a, a example of that had ASMR in it. Uh -huh. and I'm not kidding, stoned to the absolute bone in my mind. I look at this thing and I go, I get ASMR. This is so nice. There's this one girl who does like energy cleanses. The, the Queen Herbie does it. Oh, does she? On Instagram, if you go, she'll- I actually have a queen, I saved thing. a queen Herbie thing she'll to show you. She'll do this thing where she'll stop, she'll, she'll like, stop scrolling, stop scrolling. Yeah. And like, oh, and she got this like this little wand. She goes, I just real quick want to cleanse you. And I'm like- Yes, yes. Me. The energy cleansing TikToks, I, I go, love them. Everyone go to Queen Herbie's Instagram. It is There's one girl so who does she's like, good, 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 good. And it's like very cute. And like, I-, I She's not as much on the ASMR thing. 
this girl is like a this girl is like an ASMR like energy. Oh, I hate that. Okay, we have to go. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, no. I, my whole point was um, gross, but also I get it. I get the. I get. Oh yeah, no, I hundred percent. It was it. so yeah. soothing. Yeah. Now the the eating, you know, something that's, crunchy. That's not for me. That's not for item. Me. Nope. Nope. Not for no, me. No, no, no. Not no for me. So turn in next week for a full ASMR podcast. Eating Chick Fil A. We're not going to do that. Um, thanks for kicking with us. Uh, happy April, March, April, mm. March. I don't know, Kentucky lost first round, so March doesn't matter anyway. March, Bye guys. March.